is my time. This is our time. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And today, we're starting a new series. Best players not in the NBA. And since I am in Louisville, Kentucky, I want to start with one of the best players to ever don a Louisville Cardinals jersey. Russ Smith. Now, let's start with meeting the man himself, Russ Smith. I'm known for more so the jokes on the team. If there's anything, if there's a joke that needs to be made or a laugh, I'm the one that could probably supply that. My nickname, as we all know, is Russ Dickens. Coach P gave me the nickname, and he's the creator. Start my day off about 7.30 a.m., 7 a.m. maybe, and end around 8 p.m. Well, this morning, normally every other morning, I'll get up early, probably get some shots up and get a lift in. For me, morning workouts consists of lifting, probably some benching, some calisthenics. I might hit the bird max, then I might get on the court, do some dribbling drills, get some shots up. Surface person of God, well, from, from the looks of it, it'll probably be Gorby or Shane. <laughs> yeah, they, them two just, they, they dominate in practice all the time. He told me something, I was like, I, if I could perform like this against those guys and against that level of competition, then I think I could be a really good player. All I have to do is just put it together. Waffles is my favorite food. Because I, I remember the first time I had one, the Belgian waffle, it was like so good. And every time I went to a place out, I didn't want pancakes anymore. I just wanted waffle. This is the rest of dribbling camp. It's called ridiculous. Only once in a lifetime do you get to witness a player as dynamic and all around talented as Russ Smith. What's even more mind boggling then the fact that all of this is packed into a 5-10 frame is the fact he only spent one year in the NBA. Most critics of Smith say his unwillingness to pass the ball is the reasoning for his short-lived NBA career. I wholeheartedly feel that Russ Smith is a victim of a few different factors that ended his NBA career. Three to be exact. Number one, with all of the controversy surrounding Russ Smith and the University of Louisville when he came out of college basketball plays a big role in why Smith is no longer in the NBA. Secondly, I believe there are a few names that you can compare Russ Smith to. Two of these being Allen Iverson and Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. Everyone knows the trouble that Iverson brought to the NBA. Also, everyone should know by now the story of Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. If you look into these two guys' careers, how they started and how they ended. I think you will see some of the reasons the NBA just doesn't want a player like Russ Smith anymore. With the rise of players like Anthony Davis and LeBron James, the days of a short one-man show have long gone in the NBA. No, it's not that Smith can't put up the numbers or doesn't have the work ethic for longevity in the league. But I think he might be just too talented for the direction the NBA is actually going in. To me, the NBA just wants to go back to the days of old when guys like Moses Malone, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird dominated the league.
club when I'm on it. Lock in the middle of the summer when it's hot as a beach. Out of winter time when the snow drops.